So do you want to hit things for numbers that are beyond me, a mortal comprehend- well, well, that's not true, they're still very understandable numbers, but they are large numbers! Do ya? Do you wanna? Whoa, 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 before we uh, go and show the biggest hit, we're only 20 seconds in, we don't want to climax already, don't skip ahead, I've already lost half the people watching this, but for everyone else, this is my uh, great sword quest to get the highest hit possible, and indeed the true charge slash is capable of the highest single number in the game, so really it's a match made in heaven. Question one then, what sword to use to help contribute towards this almost 2k displayed attack? So I do want to point out that I mean this to be a solo hunter challenge. Which is to say, no Palico help or no teammate help either, so no Coral Orchestra and no Hunting Horn shenanigans. Though, that said, that doesn't matter either way, because all three Hunting Horn players were in fact busy when I chose to do this. I'm using the uh, Nergigante Greatsword because it's really solid, 1008 Raw is got some mmm to it, but technically speaking, the Baroth would be better, however it's only better if I had three attack augments for it, because that coupled with an elementalist jewel gives you your highest raw to work with, and then you keep trying till you crit anyway, so the negative affinity doesn't matter too much. It's just, you know, for that I need I need Aaron Jesus to uh to bless me a little bit more. So until that happens Praise me. I am stuck nergiganteing, but it does give a lot of potential for a record-breaking attempt in the future. Armor skills-wise, there are three that will give you a critical boost to your damage. <laughs> One of them is critical boost, and taking your already 25% increased hit to 40, yeah, that is sizable when we're working with the numbers that we're working with. However, it's difficult to get hold of level 3 without compromising on a more important skill, because you can only get this from a helmet, from some gloves, jewels, which of course I don't have it, let's not be crazy, and a charm. So, ah, it's so annoying. You do obviously want Fortify. You're going to deliberately cart twice, 20% more attack. Yeah, that's nice. But then the star of the show is Heroics. 30% more attack power, which is then multiplied by the crit when you're lower than 35% health. It's... It's pretty, it's pretty noticeable. And normally you need uh, to give less fucks than a Savage Devil Joe in order to pull this off, but we're hitting a sleeping monster, which kind of makes the name of the skill a little bit ironic in this instance. You think you've got me beaten. You think I'm weary, worn down, and out of strength. Well, I'll tell you this, my arch nemesis, my greatest foe. I... We'll keep getting back up. I will stand and I will fight until the last breath leaves this body. Ah! Ta da! I call it make everything bright white and it might match better but it doesn't this out of everything that i currently have jewel wise especially is by far and away the best armor set that at least i can come up with to make this number pop so we have ourselves all five heroics from black diablos legs and normal diablos arms coupled with a charm and the one Heroics jewel that I have. It's a level 2 rare 7 jewel, so they don't exactly drop like candy So that gets me that in the most economical way that I can make it happen We also have a bit of crit boost from the Azure Rathalos helmet We've got fortify from a jewel that I've thrown in and we have a load of just raw attack to add to everything from the Nergigante waist and Doba chest So this is a pretty good way to go about this Bit of weakness exploit just because I had a spare jewel slot to throw it in, but it's not really a huge deal because we're going to be using Affinity Booster. This gives you 50% crit, which is a fine little toy cost, and uh, this means that we can sacrifice essentially all crit chance skills for more pure damage and still get ourselves a critted result, which is kind of nice, honestly. So without further ado, let's actually get in the hunt and make this happen. So now we're on the hunt, you may be wondering why is our target target for this a basil goose well apart from pure catharsis as let's be honest if we're gonna hit anyone this hard it really should be mr b52 he quite simply from all my testing takes the most damage from my attacks he's surprisingly squishy 
So while he might be explodey, he also die the mosty. I... <laughs> what was that? So firstly, we kill ourselves twice. My work here is done. Cool. Then we get ourselves a tack up large from the canteen. Then we follow that up by making him limp and sleep and run away in fear. Then we want to put ourselves below 35% health to trigger our heroics. Then finally we want to pop a might pill, mega demon drug and a bit of attack powder for around 40 more true raw damage. And then the affinity booster to get our hefty crit chance. And then... Well, then it's time to let it fly. Oh, oh, oh yes, just shy. Two thousand two hundred. Not bad, I was pretty pleased with this result and through various combinations of armors, testing monsters, all of that good stuff, I really can't push it further until I get more jewels that allow me to really do a little bit more min-maxing and you can bet that I will very much beat this probably a few times in the coming months, but I like this as a benchmark to set. In fact, I would love to throw the gauntlet and glove slap. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's right. You might not feel it. You might not feel it, but I, I did. I did just slap you. And I would love to see, ideally see, but I I'll totally believe you if you just write a comment about what you did. I would to totally, totally wink. I would love to see what kind of numbers you can get out of the other weapons and how you achieved it. I would love to do a series whereby every weapon gets their shining highest damage in one attack. And for that, I would love your guys' help. So if any of you feel like doing it, then, well, please do, and let me know. For now, though, my name has been Rage. Like if you've enjoyed this little bit of fun. I like testing the limits of games, and subscribe for more. A good boy. Rage Gaming with the video float. But that's all that's really relevant at the mo, but I'm still gonna leave this up so you patrons know that I love you even though the outro's no longer that kinda relevant. But the new one's being worked on and it's gonna be a truly badass song and don't worry, I won't be doing any rapping on it. I'm gonna go now. Uh, this was shit.